Sure, and we all know that we need to actually conserve our rhino here in South Africa before it becomes extinct. In, fa in fact, these days when you go to the Kruger, you won't even see the rhino anymore because they are being kept at a place that is uh, safer. So how did the collaboration between reserve managers and universities enhance the study's impact? I'm so glad you asked that question. So we're really excited. I think 99% of people probably have never heard of the journal Science, but us as scientists <laughs> get very excited. It was it was published in the the top international journal for scientific research um, called Science. And, and I think the main reason it got into such a good journal was because it was an incredible collaboration between managers on the ground and scientists. And I'd like to just in a, in a few seconds pay tribute to a lady called uh, Sharon Hausman. She's the CEO of the Greater Kruger Environmental Protection Foundation. And she was the, the leader of this project. She had the vision to get all these managers on the ground together to think critically about what they were doing. And she had the vision to bring on board um, professors at various universities and myself as a young scientist to independently evaluate what they were doing. Now, mm. Sharon tragically passed away um, oh. a week ago, um, and we'd like oh. to just dedicate the study to her. I know. I know she would be very excited right now at, at mm. the attention the study is getting, but, but she was a visionary leader and she helped us see that in order to achieve real impact, as you say, um, there's great power in collaboration. And scientists often zoom into a protected area or a study system, even outside of, of conservation research, um, you know, re researching economics, um, poverty alleviation. Often scientists come and get their data and leave without actually consulting with people on the ground. The wonderful thing about this study is it wasn't even conceived by me or by scientists. It was conceived by managers on the ground.